In the mid-1950s, missiles began replacing guns as the main armament on combat ships. Today, this development has allowed the fusion of multiple roles into fewer, more versatile vessel types. Like the Arleigh Burke class destroyers. There are 67 of these ships in service today, with more planned. One of those 67 is USS Howard. As a class of ship, it's a guided missile destroyer where we provide air warfare, surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, strike warfare, and able to provide those across the globe. Its diverse capabilities have made it a jack of all trades. Its incredible effectiveness is down to an advanced system, the Aegis. This combat system uses computers and radar to track and guide weapons to destroy enemy targets. A vertical launch system can fire a multitude of missiles against surface craft, anti-ship missiles, aircraft, submarines, land targets, and ballistic missiles. It can even engage all of these simultaneously. Aegis is designed to help the crew in the CIC assess the threat and determine which weapon can best deal with it. Once the target is verified and the correct countermeasure is chosen, there is a final control before launch. So FCA-3 Duncan is the missile system supervisor. So he is the last line of defense before we actually launch missiles. He is maintaining the overall inventory and control of those missiles before they leave the vertical launching system. So key player in combat. As well as missiles, USS Howard has a pair of rotating cannons, known as Seawiz, to defend the ship. These can fire 20 millimeter shells at a rate of 4,500 rounds a minute. Closed-in weapon system is a, a weapon system that's more of a short range, last line of defense. It's computer controlled, radar guided to deliver rounds downrange. Its primary mission is to engage anti-ship missiles Secondary mission area would be surface contacts. So prior to any pre-fire checks that we do, we make sure that all the tension is set properly, that all of these brackets are properly secured. Make sure our hero shield is installed. Ammunition feed belts clipped in properly to the entrance and exit units and the clips are properly mated on the transfer unit. So once we verify that all the lock wire and the pins and the brackets are properly installed, then that's pretty much pre-fire checks done. When CWIS verifies an incoming missile threat, it tracks the threat till it's in ideal range and opens fire. It's a fully autonomous weapon system, completely self-reliant and absolutely lethal. It will shoot until there are no rounds left. Even if the ship is sinking, this gun will defend the ship. USS Howard is packed with impressive hardware and software, but drills and training are essential to ensure everyone on board knows what to do in combat. <laughs>